Now, there's still two years before London's Olympic Games, but some homeowners are already planning to cash in on the event. Letting agents say there's been an increase in those interested in renting out their properties for a hugely inflated fee. Our Olympics correspondent, Adrian Warner, has been to Greenwich to meet one person who's already taken an Olympic booking. There is money to be made from the Olympics. Hello, Hi. welcome. Do come in. Brenda Grant already rents her house out in Greenwich to tourists for £800 a week. The third bedroom is in that direction there. Then there's the shower room with the toilet. It's very close to three of the Olympic venues and she's already let it out for the 2012 Games with a massive markup. We have actually let um, eight nights at the, the beginning of the Olympics. Um, and that was let to some German people a few months ago. If I wanted to rent this place for a week during the Olympics, how much would it cost me? A ballpark figure, it would be between um, £1,800 and £2,000. So during the Olympics, it's twice, yes. twice the cost? Yes, that's right. Um, and people seem happy with that. Now, it's not a surprise that Greenwich has attracted so much attention. It's not just the equestrian events that are going to be taking place in the park here, but at the O2 Arena, there'll be gymnastics and basketball. Now, this is an opportunity for Londoners to really make money. These are going to be austerity games, and that means visitors are not just looking for hotels, they're looking for cheaper options like flats and houses. Most of the athletes and officials will stay in these apartments being built at the Olympic Park. But spectators and the media will be looking for other accommodation. Rental agencies on the internet say Londoners can expect to make an average of £2,000 per week. And the market is already starting to get busy. Interest is growing month on month at the moment as the event gets closer and people firm up their booking plans. Uh, Self-catering is the fastest growing sector of the holiday market and increasingly more people are looking at alternate options to hotels, particularly for a major event like the Olympics. So taxpayers are paying £9.3 billion for the 2012 facilities, but at least some Londoners will make a profit from the Games. Adrian Warner, BBC London News.